Yo, what is up guys? My name is Nit the Slayer and welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm introducing a new series. I'm just calling it Top 10 with NTS because I'm obviously not original enough to come up with a new name myself. So yeah, the series we're just going to go over a few different Top 10 items, whether it be cars like today's episode, video games, consoles, camera brands, to cell phones. Who knows, guys, it could be anything. It could even be your favorite type of flowers. So, yeah. So, kicking off the first episode is the top 10 supercars, in my opinion. So, coming in at number 10 is the McLaren P1. This is my number 10 just because I feel like it's such... I don't know, it's just such a cliche supercar, you know? But it does have a base price of $1,150,000 with a 3.8 liter twin turbo V8 electric hybrid engine. Let's check out number 9. So, number 9 is the Porsche 918 Spider. This is just such a beautiful car. Anyways, this car starts at $847,000 with a 4.6 liter V8 electric hybrid engine once again. 608 horsepower is packing under the hood of this beast. Alrighty, coming in at number 8 is the Lamborghini Aventador LP750-4SV. This is such a beautiful car. Oh my god, the back window is so incredible. This car is a little cheaper, however, coming in at $493,000 with a 6.5 liter V12 engine. That's pretty spectacular. 740 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds. That, that is such an incredible car. So, yeah. Oh my god, it's so nice. Alright, so, coming in at number 7. I believe, yeah, yeah, we're at number 7. Yeah, <laughs> alright. Coming in at number 7 is the Ferrari LaFerrari. An extremely rare supercar. Valued at $1.4 million. With a 6.3 liter V12 electric hybrid engine. 950 horsepower and only taking 2.5 seconds from 0 to 60. Wow. Coming in at number 6, my friends, is the Bugatti Veyron. We gotta add a Bugatti in here. Come on, guys. It's a supercar list. It's gotta have a Bugatti. So with the Bugatti, obviously, you gotta be balling deep to get this car. $3 million base price. Wow. Listen to this. 8.0 liter quad turbocharged W16 engine. What does that even mean? 1,183 horsepower. 2.5 seconds from 0 to 60. Not the best acceleration, but not bad. Coming in at number 5 is the Hennessy Venom GT. This is another beautiful car. This it's so spectacular. So for number five, it is a little cheaper than the Bugatti. It's only one point two million dollars, with a seven liter twin turbo V eight engine. Quite a bit of horsepower. One point two thousand horsepower. Two point seven seconds zero to sixty. Not not half bad at all actually. So number four is the Koenigsegg. Regera. The doors on this are just incredible. So coming in at $1,890,000 for the base price, it's a pretty hefty price tag. With a 5 liter twin turbo V8 electric hybrid engine, 1500 horsepower, and 0 to 60 of 2.7 seconds. Wow, that is, that's, that's a lot. Alright, so... I believe we have hit number three, so we are finally getting into the top three here. So this car, I don't really like it for its looks, and it doesn't have the best horsepower. I just had to throw it on because it's so damn expensive. 
So I don't even know how to uh, how to pronounce this car's name, but we are gonna say the Studeria Cameron Glickenhaus SCG zero zero three five. That is a mouthful. Coming in at two point six million dollars with a three point five liter twin turbo V six engine, five hundred and thirty horsepower, which is nothing. Come on. This is number three. It should be higher than that, but it's not. <laughs> 3.2 second, 0 to 60 time. Yeah, it's not a great looking car, but it doesn't look bad. Coming in at number two, one of my favorite cars, mainly for the looks. It looks incredible. This is a beautiful car. The Aston Martin 177. This is a extremely, extremely rare car. It is completely carbon fiber, with only 77 models made. 77! Could you imagine being one of the guys that owns this? This car is only $1.4 million, and there's only 77 of them. Wow. This car has a 7.3 liter V12 engine, not bad at all, Aston Martin. As well as 750 horsepower with a 0 to 60 of 3.5 seconds. So, finally, the build up you've all been waiting for. Coming in at number one is the Pagani Zonda R. This is a nice car. I like this car. A lot of people don't, but I do. <laughs> so, it is the successor to the Zonda F. It's more powerful. It's sort of got the same AMG V12 engine, but it's still more powerful. This car comes in at $2.8 million with a 6 liter V12 engine, 750 horsepower, with a 0 to 60 time of 2.7 seconds, my friends. So, yeah, that is number one. I hope you all did enjoy this top 10 with NTS. If you did, smack that thumbs up button harder than you've ever smacked anything before. Except for your kids. And uh, yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.